It's spring here in Chesapeake country and that means it's time for panfish. The herring are in the creeks and the shad have come in right behind them. There's still a few yellow perch up on the spawning grounds and the white perch bite is wide open. Here are three tips to help you catch more white perch this spring. Tip number one, fish beneath the trees. White perch will spawn in a variety of conditions, but they prefer sandy bottoms and fresh shallow water where there's a little bit of current. By shallow, I mean real shallow. I've caught them in six inches before and two feet is the perfect depth. Cast up near the bank and especially beneath overhanging tree limbs. You might hang a lure to in the branches, but that's where you'll catch them. Tip number two, cast right back to the same spot when you catch a fish. White perch spawn a lot like rockfish. There's one big female surrounded by a whole bunch of males and they bump into her until she drops her eggs. So if you catch one, it's a good bet that there are many more right back in that same area. I've caught as many as 50 white perch before in an area no bigger around than a wash tub. Tip number three, use small lures. Even though white perch are similar to their close cousins, the striped bass, the concept of bigger lures for bigger fish doesn't always hold true, especially during the spawn. My go-to and absolutely guaranteed method for catching white perch when they're shallow is a tiny float or an indicator over a small feather fly. By small, I mean 1 64th or 1 32nd ounce. You can fish it with spinning tackle if you want to have some real fun, try it with a fly rod. They literally can't resist it. There's lots more information in my book, How to Catch Chesapeake Panfish, so I hope you'll pick one up. Thanks again for watching the Chesapeake Minute. As always, your likes and shares are very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Now, let's go fishing. <laughs> Sometimes you get them